Okay, here's a quick video on how to save a patch from the PC to your DX7. Um, first of all, make sure my MIDI is hooked in from the output from my MIDI interface to the input of my DX7 here. Okay, so now turn this thing on. Okay, I want to change this patch, which is single voice mode, bank one, patch two. Okay, I've got the E expansion on this. So what I need to do is I need to, first of all, turn memory protect off. So I put in edit mode, I hit 14, and it brings me to this menu. I just arrow over, turn cartridge and internal memory protect off. Okay, then I hit single voice to go back to it. Then I have to configure my PC software, DX, DX Manager. I need to make sure my MIDI, let's see here, my MIDI devices match, which they do. And the way that I'll be able to tell is if I get the bank, if they show up on the screen after I select the bank. Those came from the synthesizer. Here, and I'll, I'll show you really quick what it looks like on the synth when I push that. Okay, and that transmits the entire bank. So I want to change I want to move my full times to become the second patch. Okay, so first of all, make sure I'm in single voice mode. I click on the patch I want to replace. Then on DX Manager, all I have to do is click on full times and just highlight it, and it shows up. Okay. Now, I have to save it after I do this, so I hit store, hold down store, and with my other hand, I have to click the button, and while I'm holding these down, I have to click yes. Okay? So let's try this. And the way you can tell is if you go to patch one, and then patch two. Patch two is saved, so we're good to go.